So look at this adorable pillow I ended up making with that fabric. Stay tuned and find out how I did that. So most of you guys know this is a carryover from the last video. And what's so great about these Derwent ink tents, blocks, and pencils is you can make your own in fabric. You can design your own prints, colors, everything. So this is where I just wet down the fabric and I had some fun. After this dried, I just hit it with a hot iron to heat set it. I wanted this pillow to be extra squishy, so I decided to go ahead and add some quilt backing to that backing fabric and here you just see I'm just kind of top stitching it down so that I have one big panel that's stitched to the quilt batting. Now I haven't sewn in years and I definitely was never a quilter, but I decided I would do a little free motion quilting on top of this panel that's going to be pretty much in the back. And that was a lot of fun and I can't wait to do that in more projects. I did a meandering pattern, so I kind of did some waves and some circles, just kind of had fun going anywhere that I felt like the material wanted me to go. It reminded me of a lot of painting, where you just kind of go wherever the paint leads you. Here, I just went where the fabric and the needle and the thread led me. It was a great experience. I did learn though that it's a lot harder to do this on a, on a regular sewing machine that doesn't have the big wide table. So, hmm, Amazon, I guess I'm going to have to hit you up again. Now came the time to try to piece together this puzzle of making a pillow. This is something I've never done. I didn't have a pattern to go by. I kind of was winging it as I went along and it was fun and it was an experience, but next time I think I'm gonna get a pattern. Uh-oh, more Amazon. Agents of the other, beyond gravel, beyond And I also discovered my scissors are horrible, absolutely horrible on fabric. So you know what that means, Amazon.
There was a lot of fudging and trying to maneuver these pieces together because again I really didn't have a plan. I really wasn't sure exactly how to accomplish what I saw in my mind's eye. So it was a little bit of piecing and trial and error and in the end I think it came out really really well. to add something decorative to the little flaps that were created when I folded the fabric over so I figured I would do this blanket stitch and as you can see again I haven't hand sewn for a while so it took me a little bit to get the swing of it and I was trying to film with one hand and stitch with the other hand and I had a pillow sitting on my lap trying to, to stitch clothes so <laughs> excuse the turkey jerky motions there but you can see you go in on the one side you catch the fabric behind it and then you want to come up as close as you can to your seam and you also want to try to evenly space this so had I had both hands this this motion here would have been much easier but you want to put that thread on the other side so you're kind of looping through it and then you're gonna pull it tight and it makes that cool little stitch of advice she said larger ain't bolder and wiser ain't older just hold on to what you believe in under bridges and heavy rocks on dancing yes we've traveled far seen so many dark 